Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome back to another Bottle Breakdown. Now today we're gonna to talk about the 2021 Tropo Little Red Blend from Unico Zello. Uh, but first, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this is a mix of Pinot Gris, Syrah, Merlot, Chardonnay, all from the Adelaide Hills. So very interesting blend to explore. Uh, and in fact, not the first wine from Unico Zello that we have featured, quite in line with uh, the eclectic combination of varieties that they like to feature in their wines. Brenton and Laura Carter are a husband and wife winemaker duo who, uh, as I said, we've featured in the club before. Uh, they're extremely environmentally conscious, which really aligns well with our principles. Uh, and they also produce funky, fun wines, especially their reds, that are just amazing with a slight chill. Uh, this wine is certainly no exception to that rule. Um, Pinot Gris blended with Syrah, nobody does that. On this bottle, you're gonna find the words Pergamon Country on the front label, just below Adelaide Hills. Um, this is actually a recognition of the Aboriginal inhabitants of the region in which these grapes were produced. It's kind of a bold choice for a winemaker to deviate at all from placing what is the more widely recognized region on the bottle, that being Adelaide Hills. Uh, that can have real economic impacts, real repercussions, uh, for the producer because uh, often so much of the economics of any given bottle are tied to the region in which it was produced. Uh, but it is a growing trend in Australia and one uh, that I'm, a, I'm particularly a fan of. Um, the trend is for uh, Australian winemakers to try to bring more attention to the land's original uh, indigenous inhabitants and their history. So uh, as I said, winemakers taking some risks, but I think well worth it. And in terms of taste, we've got plenty of racy red berries uh, mixed with some nice blue fruit. Uh, also, uh, you know, there's a nicely elevated acidity here, which gives you the flexibility to chill this wine down, uh, which I would highly recommend. Um, you're also going to get just the faintest hint of tannin. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also visit us at joinwinecult.com if you're interested in joining the club. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.